Hey everyone, it's Lisa and happy Wednesday. Welcome to Winnick Wednesday. As you're hopping on, just say, hey, let me know that you're watching. I'm gonna find us on Facebook so that I can see your comments a little easier. All right, so, let me get on here. Okay, so, you know, hey Tammy, hey Sonia and Sandy. All right, so today, you guys know, as always, on every Wednesday, it's Wood It Wednesday here at Magnolia Design Company. And the question of the day is up there in the body of this video, of this post. And um, thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate you sprinkling. Hey, Judy. So a sprinkling is just um, another way of saying S-H-A-R-E, which the, the Book of Face does not enjoy. Uh, so we just say, um, if you would please sprinkle. Uh, and invite other people to join us in what we're doing here. They can have a chance to win just like you can. Not only will they be invited to um, craft with us, but they'll also be entered to, into a drawing to win the stencil for today. So today's stencil is called Oh My Stars, and it is an 8.5 by 11, and it is um, upside down. It is, um, it is retired, all right? So you'll get Oh My Stars, and it says Oh My Stars and Garters. So I'm very, hey, hey there. Uh, okay, so we're getting more people coming in, thank you. So the question of the day is, at what age did you first memorize the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay, if that's today or, you know, age of six, whatever, that is, it doesn't matter how you answer, just pop your question in the comments, or just pop your answer in the comments section. At what age did you first memorize the Pledge of Allegiance? And then you'll be entered to win this Oh My Stars stencil, okay? We'll pick one winner today, and every Wednesday, you have an equal chance of winning. All right, so today, um, six years old, five, wow, that's great. Terrific. Okay, so today, like I told you last time I was on, I think maybe I gave away that stencil at that time too, but uh, last time I was on, I did to, uh, May's Craft Club with you all. And uh, you might remember, and I put some beads on mine, and when I put it together, I decided I really only wanted to use five of the banners, little wood banners. Um, and I'm gonna show it all to you in just a second, but mine turned out looking like this. I also dyed some beads, and that's going kind of funky. Use the fabric that was included, you know, the stencil, the paste. Um, it was just these little wood beads that I decided to dye or paint, you know, with chalk paste. All right, so this is what mine looks like. And wait till you see everything I'm going to be doing with this stencil and the parts and pieces that come from this kit um, to kind of just like gussy up my, my space. All right, so this is what we had. Now, I have some chalk paste remaining. And every time you get a craft club, you get all the components required to make the project. So in this case, there were um, five of the wood um, little hanging banners and pennants and in blue and five in red. And I just decided that I wanted a more distressed look. And so I stuffed mine up with um, sandpaper and you're gonna see me do a little bit of that. Then uh, on this one as well, I had a bunch of this uh, fabric left over and it also had a bunch of the twine left over. So I'm gonna be using that as well as uh, you got a little squeegee that came in the packet. You got this stencil and this comes all packaged together. If you've never been part of the craft club, this might be your month because you're gonna be able to use this for a couple of months. It's gonna be great. And then um, let's see what else came with it. And then some, this special squeegee, the red, white, and blue, and then our brilliant white chalk paste. So I'm gonna hop to it. Hey, Kathy and Linda and Pam. Wow, Linda was five to six. Yeah, school time, Sonia says. Judy says a five and Tammy says five. That's that's pretty good. Helga, Helga says six years old. All right, so I have decided that I am going to use this stencil and some of the remaining components um, on another project to do with you guys. And on this project, I am gonna incorporate some of our stars. I think I gave you a tip off last time that I was gonna do this. And these stars come in a 12 pack. I just drilled, I'm gonna use that word loosely, drilled uh, holes in these. I actually couldn't find my little crocodile 
So I just took a screwdriver and went like this until it popped through. But it's wood, they're uh, balsam wood, and um, I am going to use three. Okay, I'm using that. I'm going to be using a heart that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, my Dollar Tree still has some. I don't know if yours does. We can use this concept with just about any surface. And I've already painted this white in preparation for what we're going to do. And then I am going to use uh, the Stars and Stripes um, mini pattern that comes with the kit. And um, just some various other things. Oh, and I'm going to do a technique with you. And we're going to hop into that in just a minute. Um, and it's using blue jeans. You guys might remember that I like to use blue jeans. I then also grabbed a couple other things while I was out shopping. Um, I grabbed this little palette that I've already painted white and I did a crackle effect. So underneath I did like a coat of um, gray paint and then I took just some regular old school glue and painted over it and while that was still wet, I went ahead and painted the white and the blue and you can see that wonderful crackling effect is coming right through. We're gonna work on this, so many things guys. Um, I also got this little house and I did the same thing with it. I put a little more of the of a, a blue undertones in here, um, that real nice deep navy so that could pop through too but it's got a nice crackle effect going on. And then I did sort of a denim color up here because uh, we're going to use that. You could also, um, I'm just going to keep on chalking, but um, we have these new three, three pack of stars. They're shelf sitters and they will stand on their own. So if we have time, we could do that. But I also got this little jar that I painted white and put some uh, blue on. I don't know if we'll get to that, but I was just thinking about all these things that we could do. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with this technique. I'm going to do a little bit of it and set it aside to dry so that I can work on some of the other stuff. Helga says, I almost gave my heart away like this one until you mentioned you were going to use it. Yes, you got a sneak peek last week. Okay, okay, so I'm going to start in on the technique on this heart just so we'll give it a chance to dry while we're working on some other stuff. Okay, so let me get this out of the way because we're not going to use a stencil yet. And um, get ready to make a mess. So let me grab some paper. I have some packing paper and hey, when you guys get this, when you get packages, for, um, when you get uh, boxes from us, don't throw it away because you can put it underneath your crafts and that's what I like to do so I don't get that everywhere. Linda says she has this heart too. Yeah, I mean, come on, this thing was everywhere, right? I have another heart and let me show it to you. I have this one and I just kind of like the one with the spaces in between. I even tried like, I wonder if they could go one top of the other and I could break the other one apart. But end of the day, I decided this was simple enough. This is going to go on my door, okay? But it's going to be bigger than that when we're done. So um, let me just sand off the rough edges. All right, so what I did is I went over this with a white chalk paint. I, now, what's important for this technique that we're going to do, which I love, the blue jean technique, is you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need to have a surface that you already have um, laid down a light color. In this case, I just went for white. And then the next thing you're going to need is a pair of old blue jeans. Okay, so I've got a pair of old blue jeans. And I'm going to use one to craft with for the paint part of this. And then the other I'm going to use for scraps to make a really cute bow. All right, so let's hop into it. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I've got um, just some blue and red. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this. Um, it's not going to be anything perfect or or anything with this is we're going for a rustic primitive american is that what we said last week lynn gave me the the word last time you guys remember anything oh thank you i'm glad you like my hair thank you very much jen okay does anybody remember what we called it last uh last time primitive american something american anyway that's what we're working with so I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to do the blue in a block here, right? So it could be my stars area. And then the rest is going to be like stripes of white and red. So I've already got the white down. I don't need to do any more white. So let me do, um, let me do the blue first. Kind of block it off. I did. I did. I brought some painter tape. Not like I need it, but I'll just put it on here for now. I, I'm not looking on 
on this project, I am not looking for perfection. We're talking about doing something that's pretty rustic. So I just wanted to give myself a guide. And so that was the reason for it. I could have freehanded it too. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, I am going to put a good amount of uh, blue on here. Not going to glob it on, but I'm not going to be chintzy with it either because for this jeans effect to work, I've got to have something to work with. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on that area and then I will put it on this area and I think maybe what we'll do is go ahead and do the blue area so it doesn't set up and dry uh, while we're doing the red so uh, and then we wouldn't uh, let me see if it's gonna be okay you know it's gonna be okay we'll just leave it we'll just go ahead and do both of them and do the jeans effect at the same time so let me get rid of this tape so I mean that's that's pretty good, but I could eyeball it too. Get rid of this blue and now come in with the red. Now the red, I'm just gonna do like, I'm gonna freehand some stripes, so bear with me, okay? They're not gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm just, uh, just put a little bit there and I'm just gonna go across here With some red see I'm not doing anything fancy and I'm just seriously eyeballing it guys see I'll do that on the next uh, all the way down might as well just go ahead and put some there I'm gonna go all the way up to that blue Ooh, I hope I don't drag any in there because then that'd be purple right I was trying to make orange or brown a little bit early. I'm like, what the heck makes brown? I don't remember. Now look, it's not perfect there. See that? I'm going to leave it. All right. All right. So if you're just hopping on, just joining us, today's question of the day is, at what age did you learn how to say the Pledge of Allegiance? Or did you uh, memorize it? All right. And we are getting ready to do... Um, the denim jeans technique that I've been using for years and I love. And you know, when I thought about doing this, this is exactly what I had in mind. I'm like, I am doing the blue jeans on this one. And then we'll use the blue jeans in the project as well. Okay, so don't get yourself wrapped around the axle on this one in terms of like trying to make it perfect or anything. Just get paint on there. All right, I do have a little extra paint. I don't want everywhere, so I'm going to pull that out. All right, see that? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to take my blue jeans. Now, the, when I do this on a different type of project, like a larger board that's going to have some writing and stuff like that, I like to use, like, the pocket because it turns out really cute. But this one, I'm just going to use it and make sure that I get the seam on it um, so it can pull up just a little bit of that paint. And then I'm just going to uh, smooth it in, smooth the jeans. Now, don't pick it up, move it around. Just rub on top. And this is going to pick up some of that paint and pull it away, and it's going to leave like a jeans uh, texture behind, okay? Okay. Oh, Sissy says, H3 at church, we used to start every service with a pledge of, uh, the pledge to the flag and the Christian flag. I don't think any church does that anymore. You know, I, I don't think so either, but my husband and I were just talking about this before I came live, and um, we were just at a city council meeting in last uh, a couple weeks ago, and they said the Pledge of, Pledge of Allegiance, and we were very pleased with that. All right, so here we go. I want you guys to see how cute that is. All right, see, so yeah, I got my jeans, and I could use this for something else later. I'm going to set it aside, but look at my blue jeans. Isn't that cute? And I got a little bit of it coming down into the red. So you can see why if you put the seam or any of the features from the jeans on there, that it really gives it a different look. So if I wanted to, I could come back in and uh, do a little bit more of the red. In fact, oh, I already put my thing over there. Oh, let's do it anyway. I'm going to put just a little bit more red on there and see if I can get um, another kind of cool little feature going on. Maybe a seam or something like that on some of these up top. Oh man, I, look at, I'm making a mess. Okay, how many are, are you out there are messy crafters like me? I feel like I say that every time. All right, so let me get some more of the red on there. Just I'm just going back over what I had before. 
and grab those jeans again and um let's get a place that we didn't use before all right i'll use this right up here yeah i love this technique i just i don't i don't think you can have a fail on this one it just turns out so cute every time and um I guess you could have a fail if you've got it all over the place, like I'm about to do. All right. Do not try this at home. Oh, let's try the other side. I haven't tried the other side. Seems like that would be like a totally different look, too, wouldn't it? Ooh, okay. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. I got some more texture in there. And I think that that's going to go along well with what I am looking to do. All right, now I'm going to set this aside and let it dry for a bit, and we're going to move on to the next piece, and then we'll come back to this. Oh, got it sitting on top of me. Yeah. All right, if you're just hopping on, thanks for joining us. Today's Win It Wednesday, and I would be remiss if I did not give you an opportunity to win our stencil. And that is Oh My Stars, a retired stencil that you can win. And we are just working on, you've done something like that with lace. Yeah, I've, I've seen the lace. I've never tried the lace before. I don't have any denim to, I guess. So you know what, Helga? I always have some denim, but um, where I am today in Kentucky, I didn't have any denim with me. Like I have, you know, like you guys, tons of stuff in my craft supplies, but I didn't have any. So on Sunday after church, it was 99 cent day on the orange tag, and I went and picked up a pair. So I also picked up another pair for myself just to do like the mandala lace on it. I'm looking forward to inking that. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, the next thing is these stars. So I've got three stars now, and I am gonna go ahead and rough them up because remember, I'm going for a more primitive look, right? So these have been painted. You do not have to do this part. It's just a look that I prefer. And I'm just going to come in and start roughing it up. And I'm going to show you the difference in a second. It's a little harder to do when I'm holding it up so you guys can see. And I think this is kind of cute. It's going to go more with that denim look because it looks more worn, you know. I'm going to make sure and get it right around the edges too. And then I will show you one side and flip it around and show you the other side. And I just think it makes it pop more. It looks more, definitely looks more worn. All right, so this is how it came. And this is with me sanding just a smidge. You see, that's gonna look so cute. All right, so I'm gonna do that with um, the others. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. As we'll get to it. That is one stencil I don't have, Susie says. So uh, the, oh my stars, you don't have that one, Susie? Uh, Sue Brown says, uh, Sue Brown, De Brown Dalby, Says, I was two years old my grandpa taught me. Wow. Look at you. So, I was going to tell you guys a story. And um, when we were at City Hall uh, here in Kentucky a few weeks back, there was a, some high school kids who came in and they were um, petitioning City Hall for some things that they wanted to do in the community. And um, it reminded me, and I was so proud of them. I talked to them afterwards and told them how proud I was that, you know, that they wanted to get, get out there and have their voice be heard, regardless of their age. They were very respectful. They weren't, you know, like some of the kids are these days, so, you know, but they were very respectful. They, you know, waited their turn, and when they were heard, they were very respectful in their delivery. So I think that does make a difference when we're talking to anybody, right? But... Um, they wanted to do some stuff like with tornado warnings and educating the community about how to prepare. But it reminded me, and I told them the story afterwards, of when my oldest daughter was in high school. And for some reason, I can't, I don't even know why, they had taken the Pledge of, Allegiance, uh, Pledge of Allegiance out of the school, out of the high school that she was in. And so um, we went to uh city to the city council, and uh, she petitioned to have it put back in school. I was so proud of her, and that is what happened. So they still say the Pledge of Allegiance there, as far as I know, at least they did a few years ago. Um, 
she's almost 40 now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you can really have an impact regardless of the age that you are, right? But I thought that was pretty cool that she felt like it, you know, she felt convicted and she felt like it was something that needed to happen. And so she went ahead and went for it regardless of her age. So Cindy says, hello from New Mexico. I was in preschool when I learned it. All right. Okay, now, my options with these stars, just to give you guys a vision, kind of dirty now, my option, my vision with these stars is see how they're all distressed now. And that's going to go well. They still do it in schools. Good. Um, this is going to go well with that whole denim thing I got going on. Okay. So my vision is to hang these off the bottom because it's going to go on a door. And I was going to do like stars and then stripes. I think that's what I'll still do. And then I think the other one I was considering. Okay. One stars, one stripes. I mean, obviously red, and because I got white paste, so red. Uh, you know, white paste, white stripes on the red uh, star, and then white stars on the red, on the, the blue star. And then I was thinking, well, heck, I don't know what I got going on here for the white. For the white one, what could I do? But I do have some other paste, so I think I will use that. And I was thinking about using the Freedom Minis, because they are back in stock. So if I do the Freedom Minis, I'm going to do Born and uh, USA Born and Raised, or I love the USA, because I do. So I also love the 1776. So you guys tell me what you think I should do. Um, one's going to have stars, one's going to have stripes, and then the other one I could do a mix. Or I could do a Freedom Mini, and if you are voting for the Freedom Mini, tell me which one that you think that I should do. Oh, One Nation Under God, oh yeah. On the white one, use Black Chalk. 1776, Jen says it's her favorite. Okay, let me see what I got over here. I only have limited stuff here. I have white. Old Glory Blue, Old Glory Red, and glitter, that's an ink. So I have white, red, and blue. So that's, those are our choices. 70, everybody's saying 1776. Okay, use the hard one, Freedom Mini Born. Okay, I think I'll do 1776. All right, let's do that. So 1776, and what about uh, red and blue on 1776? Okay, we'll do that. We are living on the edge today. And then I will open up the Stars and Stripes and we'll use our stencil from the May Craft Club. And my purpose of coming on today to do this craft was to, craft plural, is to, you know, just encourage folks that are new or maybe people who tend to get pigeonholed, I know I do sometimes, into thinking something has to be a certain way, or oh my gosh, I don't have this, I can't do anything, I can't do my project. I can't tell you how many times I rethought this project based on what I had when I went to go get it. So um, so when you get the craft club, man, you can do so many things, and that's what I, why I wanted to show it to you today. All right, so let me open up this craft club. Uh, the craft club this month is the best this month. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Well, you guys know me. You know I'm very patriotic, so it means a lot to me. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to come in with a little bit of red. And the 1776. I cannot wait for those paintbrush squeegees to restock. Okay, just in time for Memorial Day. You guys, this is so great because we've got Memorial Day, we've got Flag Day, and we got Fourth of July. So, you know, think about all the uses for this one. This is pretty cool. Of course, I think most of them you can use doing just about anything if you think about it. All right, let, let me put that off of there, and then I'll come in with some blue, and we'll take a look at that one. 
Hello. Oh, you too, huh? <laughs> you too, Jen. All right. Hello, Gwen. Oops, got a little bit there. All right. We'll see how it's coming. Oh my gosh, this is... Come on, get it together, Randy. Okay. All righty. Put that aside and we'll do the... Oh, never mind the spitball. <laughs> I uh, got some over the line and didn't want it. Oh, I have a disinfectant wipe. I could have used that. All right, peel and reveal on this one. And here's our 1776. Great, great idea, guys. I'm not going to do it on the back in our during our time together. I will do it later. I think I I think the back should be done too because it's going to be on my uh, front door, and when it opens, it's going to you know rock back and forth. I'm sure. When you guys are cleaning up your stencils, you're going to want to make sure you use cool water or put it in a water bath or whatever. Um, but no baby wipes, please. Baby wipes can be like on your project, but not your actual stencil, okay? We've got a lot going on. Okay, all right, let's get out our stencil, our cuff club stencil. Stars, mini pattern, stars and stripes. And you guys, we know we've got this whole new thing of mini patterns going on. And, but this one just happens to be in the craft club only. So I'm trying to figure out what to name my new puppy, Lucky or Patriot. <laughs> Cute. Cute. What kind of puppy is he? All right, so I'm going to cut down the suggested line here. And then, um, unlike I did, uh, unlike the last one, I'm going to go ahead and write on here that this goes to, that this is stars, where when I find my... Pin. There it is. This is the stars. And I'm writing on the back so I know not to put my stencil on the back and which one it belongs to because, you know, I don't cut perfect. Uh, and um, you never know what's going to happen. Okay. Um, a Dalmatian and a healer. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so it's a mix. Okay, so let's put these aside, and now we're going to be working with that chalk paste that came with the craft club. All right, I'm going to get my um, stencil off, and those of you who are new, you're just going to um, peel the stencil away from the backing. And I had this out earlier, and this is a tacky towel. And usually on the first time, unless it's fabric, that I'm going to use it, I am going to pick up a little bit of lint, just so it'll come off my um, surface a little bit easier without stretching and then the other side is like a fast drying towel after I wash it I could dry it real quick on there okay so I will go ahead and do the stars on the on the blue one and I'm just gonna place it willy-nilly there we're gonna get what we get as my grandkids say get what you get and don't pitch a fit okay I'm gonna move this out of the way Okay, we'll come in with the white that came in our kit. And remember that we got a little squidgy with our kit. And um, I would suggest that before you open these and get going, I didn't do it, but it's brand new. I would just, uh, especially if it's been sitting around for like a month or so, I would go ahead and knead it inside the packet because that's your one time to mix it right unless you're going to pour it into a small bowl or something to work with um, I would I do suggest that okay so I got a little more than I needed but I'm going to squeeze you on and squeeze you off hey if you just hopping on thanks for joining us for when it Wednesday and the question of the day is at what age did you first memorize the Pledge of Allegiance and does there's not a right or wrong answer just um put your answer in the comments section and you will be entered into our drawing to win our new or i'm um, our retired stencil okay now i'm going to pull straight back i don't want to pull um corner to corner because i could stretch my stencil and that wouldn't be a good day okay so let's see what happened my star that's cute isn't it all right, now let's get the stripe out. 
And I am going to just put this real quick on a thing because I want to use it in a minute, but I got to clean it up. All right. Then we'll get the other star, our red one here, and we're going to what we say, stripes on that, right? So white stripes on that. Here's our white stripes. And if you were not here a little bit ago, we are working with the Craft Maze Craft Club and I've also been showing you how to do the denim painting technique. So you'll see that back in a minute. It's trying to, oh, it's over here trying to dry. Uh, so we're working on another part of our project. Okay, I'm going to put the stripes on. And let me see which way I want. I'll go this way. Actually, I'm going to put this under it so it doesn't go anymore. Okay, there we go. Hey, if you guys are working with a large pattern too, it's a good idea sometimes just to slip the, the surface right underneath in between the stencil and the backing sheet it does kind of help keep things uh, from flopping around and getting a little bit out of control sometimes if you're um, not used to using large uh, stencils or if you're concerned about them flopping over onto you um, sometimes it's just easier you just it's not sticking to your hand you know it's sometimes it's just an easier way to go all right so squeegee that on and off and let me show you what we've got here I'm going to name it Patriot. Yay! And Anne Marie says, I was about four or five years old. All right, so let's get the star. Pull it like I said. There is our star with our stripes. And I'm going to set that aside. That other project is still drying. So while it's, while it's drying and I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Um, the stars and stripes and use them on these other projects that I told you. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. Stuff I'm like, I want these, I want these people today to see how many different ways we can use the craft club. It's just so much fun to craft with them with the stencils and you know the sky's pretty much the limit. I had another idea um, and that was to use wooden spoons. Just do like the like the base of the handle of them. Wouldn't that be cute? I would probably do that with ink. Um, some people don't like to use ink on wood, but uh, I find it's, it's pretty good. It heat sets really nicely, and then you don't have to mess with, uh, you know, sealing it or anything. If you don't, you, it's not a big deal. You would just uh, spray it with a polycrylic to seal it. All right, let me just fit. I'm going to just quick dry this, okay? And you can do that. If you're sharing, if you're, if you're crafting and you're sharing, um, with a friend, you can just um, do just what I'm doing, pass it on, let them dry it, and then reuse it. So now I'm going to put this right here on my house. I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm going to put the stars right up to the edge where I separated the white from the blue. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here momentarily. Okay. Now I'm going to put some white in there. You see how fast this is going? I got these all prepped and ready to go, these boards earlier. My husband's like, what are you doing in there? I say, well, I'm just, I'm prepping for a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. All right, and same technique. Just going to go over it. Um, I'm not sure I need any more chalk paste. I had quite a bit on there. Uh, and this is, again, it's that primitive American, you know, kind of rustic look. Um, if it doesn't turn out perfect, that's fine. If it does turn out perfect, I might even sand it, right, to get that imperfect look. Oh, yeah, guys, I'm happy, happy camper, happy camper. Set that aside. Now I've got my little little flag that's on a palette that I did the crackle effect with because I like that look. I'm going to put this, the stars on here again. Going to line them up. You guys have been sharing some cute, cute projects that you've made with the craft club, and I have been really inspired by them. Are there a way to get more stick on the stencil? Um, the way to, I don't know if, if the stencil has lost some of its stickiness either due to use or um, the way it's been handled or um, oh, any number of things, um, uh, you know, 
Well, I guess I was going to say washing. I guess it goes back to use. Um, you can just hold them down. If you hold them down, they will stay in place. And you can, I still craft with, with some that have lost their stickiness. So I wouldn't really worry too much about that. All right. And here we go on that one. I'm going to set this aside. Okay, we're just, we're just pumping them out. Okay, now, let me do the stripe one, and then we're gonna move back to our down project, okay? I think our stripes, we need the stripe, uh, we need the stars on our down project. Okay, what is, um, I know this is not the question of the day, the question of the day is, at what age did you first learn the Pledge of Allegiance or, you know, memorize it? But what kind of, like, creative things have you done with this month's craft club? Uh, like I said, I've seen tons of them. Uh, so cute. I, I even had in mind that I was going to use, like, one of those cookie sheets from Dollar General and uh, cut a star out and, you know, put, um, put some cinnamon on it and glue and make it look rustic. And then I moved past that because I, I moved into a different idea. But... Um, so many ideas you could use and it really depends on what your decor is uh, what you know what your style is uh, what you prefer all right so this one I am gonna go in with on this guy and I'm gonna do red okay let me get my red out and this is the Old Glory Red. Okay, we have Old, uh, I'm sorry, I have Candy Apple Red, actually. Candy Apple Red, sorry, I misspoke. And Old Glory Blue. And, um, and so they're like the closest, the, the Pantone actually for the Old Glory Blue and Old Glory Red are the actual Pantone for our American flag. So, all right, so hopping in here, I'm gonna come right up against that, just like I did the other one, right up to the line where I, painted to, I don't think I'm going to get to that jar today, uh, but you guys saw where I was heading with that. That mason jar I painted with chalk paint, and I was thinking, you know, I could put flowers in there, I could put utensils in there, you know, for a party or whatever. There's so many different things you could do. Out in California, going through the redwood forest, Jan says, oh, it's so beautiful here, but couldn't live here. I love my home state of Kentucky. I'm telling you, I'm in Shelbyville right now, Jan. Where do you live? I love it here in Shelbyville. It's just a little town, and it is. Like, you know, you run into people you see. You walking down on Main Street, you run into people that you know every time. And we've only been here, had this, this house here because of our grandkids. We got another house. Uh, we've only had this house here for two, two plus years. And um, it's still, I mean, we, all the time. All the time, last night, we went to the local watering hole to get a beer after dinner and uh, ran into some some more folks and uh, sat and talked with them. And then we decided, you know, it's a school night. Maybe we should go on home. <laughs> oh, Richmond. Okay. Yeah, we're in Shelbyville. It's just outside of, um, it is on the way to Frankfurt uh, on 64, going, uh, going towards between... Uh, what am I trying to say? Louisville and Frankfurt. It's a really sweet little town. Okay. All right. Let's see our house. Yay. I don't think I'll have time, but I was planning to put raffia and a little star in there. Um, but is that so cute, you guys? Look, I did the crackle effect on it all over and pulled a little bit of the, the blue, the navy blue through. I put that before I started the crackle. I think it's giving it a good look. Uh, okay, and then um, let's do this one, and then we'll finish up. So I don't know how this one's going to go. I'm just going to put it on here. Who knows, okay? Um, I say that because there's not, like, no rhyme or reason to this one. So we're just going to rock with it. Um, we'll see what we get. Hold your breath with me. <laughs> oh, went over the color outside the lines today. Do you guys ever get together with friends and work on the craft club together? I think that that would be a lot of fun. I haven't done that yet. 
I mean, we've had family reunions and I've brought all my chalk stuff and everybody makes something. Uh, I bring chalk and ink and surfaces and shirts and stuff. And uh, we have a great time. Uh, I, I like that. We did that one time actually. And then we did it on a trip that a couple of us went on um, from the family. And it's just fun. You know, it's fun to sit around and chat kind of like I'm doing with you here. And, um, but be doing something at the same time that you that you enjoy. Even those that weren't like really crafty really enjoyed it. They just like enjoyed being part of it. All right, I'm gonna take this off. This is gonna be the last time I use the stripes for now, so I'll wash that at another time. But let's see what happened here. Yes, I am gonna put a little jute on this and hang it, and uh, some raphael on it as well. That you can you can tell that's the theme I'm going with, right? Okay, let me put this aside. Again, like I said, we'll wash that later when, when I have more time and not taking up your guys' time. Let's bring our denim look back. This is our denim look. If you didn't catch how we did that, go ahead and watch this from the beginning. Just put hashtag replay and come back and watch it at another time. You'll be happy that you did. Okay, so I'm going to move this. Remember the question of the day, if you're just hopping on to win Oh My Stars, this retired stencil, Oh My Stars and Garters, is at what age did you first memorize the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay. After the crackle, after you crackle the surface, so do you do anything else to it before you stencil it? I don't, I don't uh, do anything to it, Cynthia. After I crackle it, I let it dry all the way. Sometimes I'll go in and sand it just to make sure things are smooth. I did not on either one of those. I'm just going to tell you. I let, I finished it. I let them dry. They've been drying maybe an hour, maybe 45 minutes. And um, I got like a really nice good crackle on the side too. Um, and I just didn't bother with um, doing anything. I guess you could run some... Uh, maybe some wax or even seal it if you wanted to, but I just, I usually don't. So that's just me, but I want you to see like my, my stars and stripes are not perfect. I mean the stencil itself, it did come out perfect, um, but they're not like right up against that blue and that line is not perfect, right? And then uh, same with this, although the stencil turned out great and everything came through, I was like, mm, you know, is it every other? But I just went with it because it's gonna be, however I envision it to be. Three years old, Susie. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, we're going to put our stars on. We're going to put our stars on this bad boy, and then we are going to do the bottom. And uh, so let me line this up. I'm going to put the stars here and then down here, but uh, I got a good starting point up here, so I'm going to do that and then move it down. I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. You know, it's one of those things like you see it in your, where's my sweetie? Oh, you see it in your head and you're like, I really hope that that turns out. <laughs> People always, I'm always like super critical of my painting when I do um, acrylic paint uh, on canvas because I see this like design and like I see this thing in my brain and it doesn't even matter how it comes out. You know, it's like, when I look at it with my own eye, I'm super critical of my own work. And I look at it, I'm like, dang it, that's not how I saw it in my brain. But you know, sometimes it it's like, but you know what, it turned out so nice anyway. It wasn't like I envisioned, it just kind of took a life of its own and loving it. All right, let's see what happened here. Oh, you guys are so glad I did the denim. Look, look at the stars on the denim. That looks so, so stinking cute. Okay, <clears throat> let me get this one down here, and then we'll move on to the last part. I'll flip it around so I can get the same sort of design going. All I'm trying to do right now is line up that blue where the blue stops and starts, and then the edge of the board. There we go. I got all the things everywhere. Okay, now. I will for sure go ahead and chalk immediately after I've used a stencil. I'll do it again immediately. Um, sometimes if I feel like it's been a little bit of time and I really don't want to wash it, I mean, it doesn't take that long. But if I don't want to, 
then what I'll do is I will just come in and um, spritz it with a continuous uh, sprayer or, or continuous mister. I'll just come in and spritz it and um, get that chop going again um, so it doesn't clog my stencil. <clears throat> But in this case, it would almost kind of be a blessing if it did just a little bit because then it would be distressed even more. It would be cool. Not, I haven't decided if I'm going to sand to distress. We'll have to see how it comes out. All right, let's see. Cross your fingers. Oh, yeah, should have washed that one. I'm going to have to do it here. There's a little, see that? <laughs> Backwards, there's a bleed there. That's okay. I'm fine for now. All right, so let's move on. All right, so I got this. It's gonna go on my door, and I wanted to have those stars hanging down. So what I'm gonna do is I have a bunch of that same fabric. I took the jeans jacket, I mean the jean, pair of jeans, and I ripped them, and I got all of these things, okay? And then, so I'm gonna use these as a bow and a ribbon. And then I went to Walmart and I found this little fabric square. I think this was like a dollar seventy or something like that. Uh, there wasn't anybody there to cut fabric, so I had to buy this. Typically, I would buy more, but that's just what I was, um, just what they had. So I took what they had. Now I think that goes with my thing. That goes with the whole like rustic look and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and rip it down. Let me see which way I want it to go. We'll see. And for uh, projects like this, I do go ahead and rip. You can see I did rip the jeans as well. But, you know, when you do that, you get, like, fraying, which I love. However, if you have a place where you're not getting fraying, I don't know if you know this, but you can take, you can take the edges and uh, roll them up like this, and you can take a piece of sandpaper and just rub it over it. And it gets the fraying started. See that? It starts pulling up the, the threads, pulling them out. So that way it's not so hard to get it started. And so there's a little tip for you. Okay. You love the American look, Susie? I do too. Okay, so I am, let's see, do we want long or, we'll go this way. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, um, not even worry about like the width that I'm going to do. I'm just really going for color and uh, do just varying widths of the fabric. And I'm just ripping. I'm not even sure how much I'm going to need right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Because um, I'm sure I'll use it for one of these other projects that I used. You know, one of these two or um, possibly even my, um, my mason jar that I haven't started yet. So, which we're not going to get to today. Let me see how we're doing. Oh, okay. We got like 15 minutes. Guys, I got to, guys and gals, I got to run, run, run. Okay. So, put that aside. And now I am left with these things. I think that's kind of a cute look. You know, what the heck is she going to do with it? Probably age 12, Carolyn says. Kindergarten at age 5. Taught, uh, taught in school as it should be. Yes, ma'am. I think I'm also going to grab a little bit of red ribbon and then I'm going to grab a little bit of the leftover of the twine from the craft club. All right. I don't know. You guys got to hang with me. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. I, I had this idea, but now I'm like, how am I going to get all those? Wonderful. Oh, I know what I'll do. I got it. I got it. I'm like, how do I get all those wonderful colors and fabrics and stuff like that? How do I get them all on this thing? All right. I'm just using a little bit of painter's tape on the end here. Um, just to make sure it goes through the star okay. And uh, while I have it all, I guess I'll just do it on all the stars. I am going to hang these stars from the bottom of my heart. So I might as well just loop them all through. Um, that way I don't have to keep putting more tape on <laughs> and then I'll cut them wherever I want. All right. Okay, so this is my thought. 
you guys help me. My thought is that I will do I was thinking that it would go like this. Let me see if I can get it together. Somehow I'm going to get him to go like this. And then I'm going to hang some ribbon and stuff off the back. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to be best. I'm going to try going through the middle. See if that helps. Um, if for that, I am going to need to take this back through here. Oh no, that's okay. That'll be okay. Okay, let me give them all some length and I can cut it. And then I can decide where I want to go with these. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, tie a knot on the other side, just to keep them um, at the end where the jute goes through the star. Clip it off. And then I think that I will, <laughs> hang with me, I don't know, this is crazy, okay. Okay, I think that's what I'll do. I'll tie that one there for now. I don't know if I'm committing to it. I'm just going to tie it there for now. And then I will do the others. Same, same. I wonder if I should tie it up like this. I don't know. You guys think I should knot it in the back? Or do you think I should? There are three braces. To tie one each. Yes, Susie. That's where I was going with it. Um, I think... I think it's fine if I just tie a knot. I think it'll be fine. Probably at the age that it was in fifth grade. Can't remember, Caroline says. Okay, probably age 12. Yeah, I think like eight, fifth grade's like, uh, was that like 10 or 11, I think? Yeah. I would knot it. Thank you, Cynthia. That's what I'm doing. So I need you guys. I need you guys in my life. Hey, how many people out there, if you're a creator with Magnolia, how many of you planning to come to Celebration? I hope that you are because I am looking forward to meeting everybody there. Okay, I am going to hang this one down a little bit further. And... A little tricky here. Alright, that one looks good. Then I will do this last one, and then we'll put all the ribbons on, and then we'll see what we've got. So, if you're on here and you're planning to come to Celebration, please let me know. You know, where at, Chantel wants to know. It is in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it is the first weekend in August. It is Thursday night, we're having a craft night. Uh, anybody can come, even non-creators. If you just want to come join us and hang out and do a craft, we're going to be making a what? Oh, I can't tell you what we're making. We're making something super cool, and um, and it will be published soon, but I can't wait for you to see. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then, um, let's see, it goes. And if you are a creator, then you stay on, and we give out awards. We have um, training. We do all kinds of cool stuff. We have some breakout sessions. We play some games, do some fun giveaways. Um, but it's, uh, so that's kind of like the, the plan. All right. All right, now I'm gonna take a bunch of these goodies here and hang them off there, okay? Yeah. And I'm just kind of like willy-nilly it, all right? Um, where was that red? I wanted to do red, right? Not with the tape. Okay, interesting. I make tumblers and t-shirts. You do. Uh, Chantel, are you, um, a creator with Magnolia? I think I'm going to make all of these come down in the middle. 
Okay, guys, I'm thinking I'm going to make all of these come down in the middle. Right here. What do you think? Do you think I should have one at the end of each? Oh, I think I should tie. I think I should tie them to the stars, don't you? What do you think? Tie them to the stars? Come on, Cynthia, you are helping me before. Tie them to the stars or hang down from the middle? No one from my group is coming. Tammy, why? All right, got some more. Let me cut some more stuff here. Um, yeah, but I'm want, not yet, but I'm wanting to. Well, tie them to stars. Thank you, Helga. You absolutely should. You should, should, should. Okay, so I have an idea. All right. I'm full of ideas. You never know if they're going to be any good or not, but I'm full of ideas. <laughs> okay. What about... I don't know. You guys let me know. Is it too much? Let me see. Is the raffia too much or do you like it? Probably memorized it in the first grade many, many moons ago. Okay. Thanks, Zelda. Thank you. All right. Where did the extra twine go? Okay, here we go. Tie to the stars. Okay, that's what we're doing. Tie to the stars. And then we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'm glad that you did. I hope you are enjoying the project. Okay, next time I think that I would do the hangy thing a little different. Like I would have reserved more at the end of the star for um, to wrap around this uh, the uh, ribbons and such. But I'm working it out. That's the first one. I'm gonna do the next one a little bit different. I think I do like the raffia. Maybe the raffia onto the large heart in the blue section. Thank you, Susie. I think I'll put some down there, uh, uh, up there too. I'm gonna go for it and do it in both places. And uh, what do you think? Um, do you think, oh, you know what I do with the raffia? I started looking at my raffia, I'm like, dang, I wish I had blue and red too. So I painted a little bit of it with my chalk paste. So um, we'll look at that and see if what you think about that. All right, so that one's on. Let's move on to the next one. And where is our ribbon and a little more raffia? We're gonna get this guy done here pretty soon. Okay. Loving this craft. Thank you, June. I'm loving this project and will be starting on it when I get off. Good, Helga, because you saved your heart, didn't you? <laughs> Smart gal. Okay. You know, it's just different. We all think of different things and... Like I said, you know, every every time I see you guys do crafts, I'm like, dang it, that was smart. That was super smart. All right, let me tie this one off. And then we'll do Rafi up at the top. And I'll let you guys see the one that I uh, colored. And let me know what you think about it. Okay, so if you're just hopping on, we are about to finish. But we have been working on <clears throat> another project, uh, incorporating the craft club. And uh, just seeing what else we could do with the stencil. So uh, today is Win It Wednesday. So if you would like to be entered into the drawing for a free stencil, and it is Oh My Stars today, a retired stencil, then you just need to place in the comments your answer to the question of at what age did you memorize the Pledge of Allegiance? And there's not a right or wrong answer. You just pop it in the comments section. And tomorrow we'll go through and pick a winner. And window winners are randomly selected. And it could be that you win this week and next week. It just, it just kind of works like that. So, 
Everybody has an equal chance every time. And if you um, know someone you think might be interested in this craft or interested in um, joining the craft club and has not yet, uh, if you would just sprinkle this to them, that would be helpful so that they can, um, so that they can uh, find us and see what we're all about. Um, and that would be cool. Maybe it's something you guys could do together. Six years old, Diane says. Okay, we're almost done, guys. I keep threatening that, huh? <laughs> I just feel like it. I feel it in my bones. We're almost done. Okay, we've got the last star done. Give it a little bit of length. And let me tie a knot, and then I will show you what we've got. I just already know, as soon as I put this on my door, someone's going to, I know her, she's going to come over and say, Hey, uh, what are you doing with that? I would love to have that. <laughs> I already see it coming. Okay. All right. Oh, I've got this. Aha, i got the star going in the wrong place. i got to flip this star around. Guys, I've got the tie to it in the wrong place. But here we go. Yeah, I've got th this one, the white one, is um, the tie is up front and it, it should not be there. I could even put some raffia there to hide it if I didn't want to turn it around. So someone said some raffia up at top. So I'm going to show you what I did. I took, I couldn't live with the fact that I didn't have any red, white, and blue raffia. So what do you think about this? I painted this, um, you see, blue and uh, red. Do you think that if I trimmed it, um, I could put it up top here? What do you think? Let me know what you think. I learned the Pledge of Allegiance in school. I was in first grade, so I was six years old. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, I, um, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna actually use something else though. I'm gonna use this twine. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this jeans material in there. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not the jeans material. Unless I did this. And then jeans. Nah, jean, buy on the jeans material, right? Like the raffia. Okay. So let me try out the raffia and then we will... Um, Get it going and put it in place and we'll call it a day. I've got my heat gun over here, uh, my, my um, glue gun that's just sitting there waiting to be used. All right. Let me uh, trim this up. You guys want me to know if this is too long or still I'm not like the best at that. Uh, I always love getting you guys' opinion and help on things. All right, here it comes. So you guys let me know, do I need to trim it more? What would you do? Should it be small? It looks kind of big, doesn't it? Shouldn't it be, you think it should be a little bit smaller? A little bit smaller, huh? Okay, I'll trim it up just a little bit more. Oh, you say perfect. Thank you. I'm already hacking away at it. I'm going to do this, and then I am going to take the last little bit of this patriotic thing. I am going to tie this in a little bow. I think it's going to be cute. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of it. I'm going to glue it all together, and it will be done. A little bit more. Oh, uh, trim it a little bit more, Helga, you think? Okay. I think, you know what, I think you're right. It was looking a little bit too bushy there. Okay. <clears throat> then I'm going to put my little patriotic bow there. Oh, that is like the worst bow in history. Hang on a sec here. How about this? When was, how were you guys when you learned how to tie your shoes? <laughs> I feel like I'm in the same, same position right now. Okay.
Okay. No, you're fine now. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Helga. Thank you. Okay. Let me um, trim this up a little smidge. Put it my hot glue. And I'll put my raffia on. And I'm going to put all, um, my, um, my hanger on after a bit, okay? When all this dries and after we're off the call together. And here is my project for today. Well, I have to put my others up here too. All right. This one I did with the crackle effect. This one, I think it's gonna be, both of them are gonna be cute in a tiered tray. This one I also did with the crackle effect. I think they both need some patriotic bows or a raffia or something. Um, maybe a little button. And then uh, this one here, I am super happy with it. I'm gonna put a little door hanger on it and I'm gonna put it on my front door. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I can't wait to see what you do with your craft club. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.